Welcome back everybody, it's me Calamity and I will be your host for today's video, Arusal Part 2. So when we left off, we were reading uh, a whole bunch of journal notes and we were talking, well we weren't talking, but we were reading Judy's letter about how she was killing her husband so she could be with Brad instead and how she would start a new life. So let's, uh, let us go downstairs, oh wait a minute, there's a new note, let's read the note first. Then we'll go downstairs and, uh, I bet Mr. Um, Stuart will be dead. Yep, that was a bad note. Yep. This is from Judy. Wait a minute. What? Oh, this is an older one. Okay. Stuart's demeanor is weighing on me heavily. Nearly 40 years have passed in our marriage, but unlike the wine in my glass, it is not aged well. He still tells the stories of bravado from his time in the service, and with his age, it, is bec it has become a routine. Every time he uses the exact same words, I could recite them along with him, and I do sometimes, to interrupt his train of thought and to rile him up. Thank God for father and the company of his friends. His protege, Brad, is a pleasure to talk to. I have seen the way he looks at me, too. What a naughty man. I will see him again tomorrow. There's nothing wrong with seeking out better company than the buffoon I am married to. So this is supposed to be read before uh, the 1991 letter, but it wasn't there last time. So, not my fault. Hello, are you dead? Oh, you're still there. Yep, still there. Let's venture further down. See where this takes us. It clipping. What? Don't do this to me. It's very quiet. Very slow. And very repetitive. Is there another house down here? It looked like a house, but it's just a rock. From the mountainside. Hey, we finally have a path. And two houses. Hmm. I wonder what could be in the smaller one. I have a feeling something's gonna happen now. Let's go into it anyway. Hmm. These trees all look exactly the same. Wonderful. Where should we go first? Wow, they got cars. Cars out here in the middle of nowhere? How did you get up here if there's no road? Oh, that's a garage. Why are there so many cars? Oh, this is the car dealership thing, Majigger. Oh, well, there's a note. I didn't think there was. Note, note, note. <sighs> Stuart, 1945. Aw, oh, shucks. As it happens, the night I had with Judy after getting home from the war means she's pregnant. Had I known this would happen, I could have cooled my hots for her. I better make a respectable woman out of her, just like my tank pals used to say. If a lady starts a grinning, take care where you're swimming. <laughs> it's too bad they sent us home so quick. I miss taking care of my tank. I was the best damn mechanic in Uncle Sam's army. My tank, now that was a lady I understood. <laughs> okay. <laughs> After every skirmish, there was a bolt to tighten or a part to grease. Then Sherry would purr real pretty. Alright then. So this guy has a fetish for tanks, apparently. Real women don't sound the same as M4A1 Sherman tank. Wow. They smell different too. Not bad, but different. I'm going to have to come up with a job, and quick. If only there were a mechanic shop around here, I know it would be a shoe in for the job. No such luck, but maybe I can work on some sort of machinery in the coal mine. 
Judy's father Magnus owns that operation, so if he doesn't want to split me open like a nut for touching his child, then old man Magnus can use a man of my talents. Right. And then you work here, and then uh, Judy kills you later on because you suck. So this is one year before she kills him. Or starts to. Whatever. Okay, yeah. Judy sure has been acting odd lately. I still can't understand her motions like I understand the gears of my old Sherman tank. Judy does cook better meals than the army did, though. She's been making more exotic meals recently, with some sort of special ingredients. Yep. They do a good job of filling my belly even if I do always feel sluggish afterwards. She isn't so bad, I guess. Our 45 years together could have been a lot worse. I can only hope that David shows better. The shop isn't the same since he passed on. Maybe his home life was happier than mine. I sure do hope so. I- Wait a minute, what? David died? His son died? Why? Uh, let's keep reading, sorry. <laughs> um, I think I will go visit his grave again tomorrow. I was just there today, but something about how easygoing the graveyard is settles me. I'm going to have to do some repairs on that bridge soon, though. It creaks pretty awful when people walk over it. Someday soon, it may fall if I don't take a better look at it soon. Okay, so that place where we started off, I guess, is where... This letter takes place, and the grave on the other side was for him, and somebody killed him and then buried him there or something. I don't know. Just guessing. So, do we have to backtrack the story all the way down to the bottom of this valley? and then walk all the way back to the bridge. That would suck. Hmm. Is that another path? Looks like another path. It's another path. Uh, I don't want to go down the path. So many places to go, they all look exactly the same. I guess if we could run, but we can't, so let's hop like bunnies to the house. This is how you get around town in style. This is how to impress the ladies. Bunny hop. Wow. We should have brought like a vehicle out here. There's, there were so many cars back there. We could have grabbed a vehicle and we could have driven down here and it would have been so much easier. Wow. Okay. Which one do we read first? bad one. Okay, so we read this one last. Jasper. Who's Jasper? Whatever. Finally, all my work is paid off. At the age of 30, I have be- oh, it's 1950? Okay. I have become the foreman of Magnus's mine. I suppose Magnus sees its value having a young guy like me up on the top. Some of the older miners are grumbling pretty loud about their jealousy, but there's a reason I was chosen over them. Magnus can see the value in me. These fools can keep on grumbling. Bad news today at the mine. A pair of miners went deeper into the tunnel than we had support beams, and they got hurt in a small collapse. Bernie was crushed by a large chunk of rock coming free, and Dady? I don't know how to pronounce that. Was injured too. Those two troublemakers have been doing all kinds of things together lately. With the time miners have to put in, they must spend more time with each other than their, with their wives and children. I know Marge is going to be fawning over Dady when he gets home, though. 
bless her heart. Magnus was down at the mine soon after the collapse, and already promised Dady an allowance to make up for the wages he lost in getting hurt. It must be good to be related to the boss. Let's see. If Dady's daughter Kathy is married to David, Judy's son, that makes Dady Magnus's... Darn, his grandson's father-in-law, I suppose. I don't know if there's a better way to say that. The related is the point, and Magnus isn't completely heartless, or he doesn't want the miners to unionize, or he doesn't want the state of feds investigating the mine. Why? What's in the mine? Something fishy's going on. Oh, I can't believe it's all over. I've been on this job for 32 years, and I'm now forced into retirement from the mine closing. Huh. I guess Magnus is getting tired from all the work over the years he had to do to keep it open. First there was a death, then there was a state work environment investigator people, and now the mine is closed. It's, it's admirable that he was able to keep it open as long as he did, but I guess it's all kaput now. I don't know what the miners will do. Move away maybe? Wouldn't that be a shame for Magnus and his family? They would be all alone then, but there isn't any work within the mine in Arusal, so maybe that's what it's going to be. I'm moving up for sure. There's nothing left for anyone in Ruzel. Okay. So, something weird was happening at the mine and it was shut down. And everybody had to move away, I guess? I think we have to walk all the way back now. That startled me. Because <laughs> I thought we were having like a cutscene to look over the uh, mountain and all of a sudden there's this guy behind us. I guess we walk all the way back now? Who was that? I guess we don't step on the edge anymore then. Or we go further down? I don't know what we do. I'm lost, okay? You know, you have to cross the bridge to get to that grave, but it's screwed up, so we can't really get over it. Let's just keep going forwards, because that's what we like to do best. Walk, and walk, and walk, and walk some more. In a terribly boring forest, a mountain. I'm surprised we haven't found Bigfoot yet. If we have to walk all the way back up just to cross that bridge, I'm gonna be so mad. Wow, the bridge is way back there. We would have to walk for so long. And the fact that we can't run is just annoying. It takes things twice as long. Now I feel like that guy's following me. I mean, I we had some music. I mean, it, it cut out a long time ago and hasn't come back. Morning. Evening. Whatever. <laughs> Any other notes? There's one. Oh, there's another one. Can I sit down? If I can sit down. Another bad one. So somebody's a murderer. Margaret. Wow, another one. I, I, like, all these people are related and they all live in Aruzo. This makes me think that this place is, like, really messed up. Truly, I am the luckiest woman on earth. I am so blessed to have my husband, Dady, looking after me and our beautiful daughter, Catherine. Dady works so hard. I swear he spends more time with the other miners than me, so he can give Catherine and I all of the things we need to live. We have a roof over our head and food on our plates. What more could a woman want? I hope Catherine will grow to understand how hard her father works for her. She's getting to that age where the devil can take hold, so I hope we are raising her right to appreciate the beautiful life that we have. It must be, it must be 18 years now since Bernie died and Dady got his injury, but Dady still always gets real upset this time of the year. 
he still misses Bernie, I guess. You don't spend most of the day with a friend and then get over them just like that. I hope the Lord can work his love into Dady's heart a little sooner this year. I hate to see him like this. He seems alright living off of Magnus's allowance the rest of the year, but we always have trouble on February the 3rd. I know he will clear up in time for Valentine's Day, though. He always has the sweetest surprises. Terrible news today. The mine has been closed indefinitely by Magnus. What will we all do? The miners need jobs, after all, but there are no other jobs in Aruzo. Maybe Daddy will know what to do. He's not come home yet today, which is odd. Maybe he's out planning the future of Aruzo with the miners. God bless him. Even with his injuries, he can never be pulled away from the miners. Still, it isn't like him to be away from home so late. Maybe what looks like a tragedy is actually a blessing from the good lord. If we are forced to move to a new town, then we can see a bit of the rest of the world along the way. I can't remember the last time I was out of a Ruzel. I'm certainly not getting any younger. Maybe it's just the right time to start a new chapter in our lives. And then everybody dies, right? Everybody just gets murdered or something? Perhaps. I don't know. Let's keep traversing on into this totally man-made path. To more houses. Is it getting darker? No, it's just dark down here. Okay. mouth is dry from reading so much. Ooh, there's people inside this one. Whoa. That's comforting. work hard and I hope my little Kathy will get benefit from it. She's a light in my world and I'll do anything for her to have a better life than I did. My papa sent all his wages on moonshine. My brothers and I suffered awfully for it, but Kathy will live a better life. She deserves what I never had. That smile on her face when I get home from the mine keeps me going. But Marge's cooking does it, Sarah too. Whatever my feelings for Bernie may be, I will work hard for my family. Bernie and I can have our time together in the dark mine, but above ground, in the light, I belong to my family. So is he just a really good friend of yours, or did you two have a little affair going on? And is that you right there? I don't know. Hi guys. You keep hanging around. <laughs> And I'll walk into trees. This is taking a really long time. Just to walk around everywhere, read all these notes, discover a story, piece parts of the puzzle together. Oh, there's another house way down there. How far does this go? I was hoping I wasn't right about actually going down to the valley, but I guess I am right. Because this is the only place we seem to be going. There's a lot of trees over here. Is Slender Man in these woods yet? Oh, these trees. Wow, that is a lot of trees. I'm pretty sure trees don't actually grow quite that close to each other. I mean, some do, but not in great big bunches you can't even get through. That's wild, man. That's wild. I've got a slightly eerie feeling about this area. But let us continue nonetheless. 
By the way, I'm recording this at 4.30 in the morning. I have a toothache. I should be sleeping. But instead, I am playing this game because... Why not? And it is boring me. No offense. So z Ooh, we found the mine! Seriously? I want the note. Stop it. Got it. Is there another one in here? Nope. Nope. Let's read this one first. Why, David? Why can't you just act the way you're supposed to? Twenty long years together, waiting for you to mature. And now I can never... Now... Oh, now I can see you'll never get there. You're just like Papa, after all. In the end, he went and ruined everything, because he couldn't just be happy taking care of Mama and me. Why can't you just be how you're supposed to? I work hard to take care of you, but all you want to do is go hunting, or fishing, or take walks without me. There has never been a less grateful husband in all the world. Just like Papa, you can take your own life. I found some plants in the valley that will put you right to sleep quick, and you will never wake up again. I hope you enjoy your dinner tonight, because that's going to be your last one. All I wanted was for things to stay like they were when I was young. First my Papa and Mama took themselves away, and now I realize David can't be like he is supposed to. Why can't things just work out for me? Where's the man who will give me everything I deserve? I don't know. But it isn't David. So she followed in her mother's footsteps and she killed David. Uh, Iruzo is really fucked up. No, that was not. Okay, I was checking. There's nothing. Now I'm stuck. Get out of the house! I need out! Thank you. <sighs> Journal. Next one is also from Catherine. That's just about her finding a new guy or something. reading them because it's stuff we already read from the other ones, like the other letters. So, can't go in there. <laughs> this reminds me of Fallout a little bit. It's taking so long. I hope it's over soon. Mm. So, how was your day for all of you guys out there? Hope it was well. Hope 
had some fun with something. If it was a bad day, I hope things get better for you. Sincerely. I see one house, but I thought I saw two. Nope, just one house. So I'm going to have to end this episode here, and in the next one we will enter this house which looks like every other house, and see what's in it.